good day guys good day guys this is mr shah guys i'm back with a quick it's not actually a quick one but it's going to be a tutorial about how to actually um, buy the alto protocol so i'm going to take it step by step slowly so then everyone can be able to see or everyone can be able to understand everything that i'll be actually talking about so all i just want you guys to do is to pay attention make sure that you pay attention because um you will actually miss out if you don't but otherwise guys let's get on to it and before we get into all that i want you guys to actually if you haven't actually um subscribe to my channel just make sure that you subscribe make sure that you hit the notification button to make sure that you always get these videos every time when i post them i have a lot of videos that are that are scheduled that are actually going to be coming to my youtube channel so make sure that you actually um you actually have your notification button on so then you can always be notified so without any waste of time guys let's just get into this uh yeah let's get started now okay guys this is what is happening let me set up okay okay all good all good all good now this is what is going to happen guys um if first thing first what you're going to simply going to do you are simply going to open the trust wallet right you can see here's my trust wallet and then secondly i will want you to go and open the website of alto uh, protocol website this is actually the website there you can simply say it's www.alto uh, you can see the situation in protocol.com right or if you can't find it there simply go to altcoin trader you can simply come here to altcoin trader i'm not actually altcoin trader oh my mistake i'm always using altcoin trader that's why now you simply come to coin market cap right when you come to coin market cap you can simply go there and you type alto token and then there it is alto protocol and then from there you can see it's going up now you can simply come down here if you come down here you'll be able to see the links here is the links and then you can be able to click the first one which is the website right and now once you're done doing that you can simply go to the website and then you can simply copy that website right i want to show you how to buy this particular project right now um this is what you're going to do now you're going to go to your trust wallet you're going to go to your trust wallet and once you are on your trust wallet now the first thing that you need to do you need to make sure that there is money in your smart chain if you don't have money on your smart chain what you're simply going to do you're going to go maybe to altcoin trader buy bnb and then you transfer it to your smart chain and then once once money reflect on your smart chain you can see i have 142 rand i will just just um i'll just keep this money so then i can be able to show you guys how to go about this right now simply what you're simply going to do once you have this first thing first guys you need to actually uh, uh have the contact address how do you get the contract address you simply come to alt country um, i mean to coin market cap you can see if after you clicked the uh alto if you type you search that alto protocol you can simply if you go down you'll be able to see the contract address here's the contact address you can see contact address copied and then you go back to your trust wallet once you go to your trust wallet the, the next thing that you need to do guys is simply need to um let's do this okay okay let's do this now next thing that you need to do guys you need to simply come in and click dubs here right and then after clicking dubs here you can simply come and um you can simply come and select this one which is pancake swap so if pancake swap is not here you can simply come here and then you type pancake swap right then you'll be able to see it as T -t uh, https and all that and then from there you select it right because i have it i'm simply going to click pancake swap and then after clicking pancake swap is going to open 
and most important thing guys you need to make sure is this one always make sure that here you see this sign of binance it's a smart chain right now because you can always find it if it's for the first time you can always find it like this right if you find it like this guys you simply need to change it right you're going to say you're going to click on it and then you click smart chain and then it will ask you to connect mine is already connected but if it's not connected you can see mine here if you receive return disconnect here if you see here return disconnect it means, simply means that your wallet is connected but if you don't see this disconnect or maybe here you see return connect just click that connect right so your wallet can be connected so you can see that if you to see that this wallet is connected you can simply see here the money that i have on my trust wallet is also reflecting here it means that it is connected right now secondly guys what you need to do if you would if, if it's for the first time that you know you'll have to come and click this cake and then here you're gonna have to actually paste your address contract address and then you will see it are uh, reflecting then you click it and immediately when you click it it will ask you if you understand all those security things um and then you click the box there down there and then you go simply go and click import right then it will reflect like this right now you can see on my balances they i already have two here then i already finance i have my amount there you understand so i just want to buy so that i can show you how to go about it right now what you're simply going to do here on Binance, here on BNB, right? I have to put an amount here. And then you can see my balance is this one. So I'm going to simply say 0 0.0329 is my balance. So I have to put an amount that is lower than my balance. If you can see my balance there. I have to put the amount that is lower to my balance. Why? Because I need to make sure that the amount in, in the balance there, there has to be left something that can be able to pay for the gas fee. The gas fee is very important. So if you put the whole amount here, and then I mean, for example, I say um, I put max. Let's say I put max. It's not going to be able to go through. If you go down here, it, it will not be able... It, you see, it's not going to be able to go through, but I think it will because it just put um 0 0.02 but if you are to put for example let's say uh this one maybe is putting the ma maximum of what i can be able to buy but if i can say 0 0.032 if you go down here sometimes it can refuse me to buy right because I actually don't have enough sometimes it's right in uh, insufficient fund uh, or insufficient and all that because I don't have enough but now for me to be able to buy I can simply click zero I can simply put 0, 0.0 uh, let's say 0, 0.0 uh, let's say uh, for example one nine right and then from there the next thing that I need to make sure that that is very important is the slippage right and then where do you make the slippage you simply come here you come here on settings and there on settings guys you can simply go and click there and then the most important thing that you need to do here you need to change the slippage if it refuses if it allows you to process with the slippage that is there but always make sure that you put um maybe threaten from 10 percent 20 uh, 15 percent going up right if it refuses you go to the um you go above that if it refuses you go above there something like that but normally it's always around 10 percent to 15 percent so for example if i can put here 10 percent i think 10 percent will be able to go through and then from there I I close this one you can see down here now it changed to 10 percent right now what is the next step the next step for me is to come and click swap right i'm buying this is how i'm buying so we call it swap on the decentralized platform we call it swapping but if you're using a centralized exchange is to buy so here you're going to swap what does that mean it simply means that you're taking this portion of tokens right okay taking this token so these are the tokens that i'm going to take i'm going to use i'm going to use these tokens and then what i'll be able to receive is this one this is the amount of uh, alto protocol tokens that i'll be able to receive with this money if i put more let's say for example i say uh for example let's say uh i put three here right now you will be able to see also the amount down here down here it goes up right you see so it depends on how much you are putting there so i'm going to put one nine um let's do one nine one nine right and then um from there i click swap and from there the next thing i have to confirm the payment it says what the transaction this when you get this message it simply means 
uh, it's either the, sli the slippage. The first thing that you need to go back and check is the slippage. Now let's go back to the slippage and change it and let's see if the problem persists. So come back to the slippage. And then I will have to change the slippage to 15%. And then from there, I will have to click swap. I say confirm. Boom, it goes through. So it was the slippage. From there, I'm going to spend 86 rand. That means I'm going to have to click approve. If you check this one here, this slip, you can see this network fee. This is the reason why you need to make sure that you always have enough to be able to pay the gas fee. So I'm going to pay this amount of money for the transaction, right? And the total is going to be 86 rand, right? So, so you can see there, I'm going to spend this one for the project and then this one for the, for actually for the fee. And then here is actually my total. Amazing. Now, after that, I'm going to say approve. All right? And after that, I'll click close. And then you can simply come here and click close. And then there I go back. And then I go back. And if I come here, you, you see now, you see now it just went up, meaning that it has been added. Simple as that. That's how you actually buy this token. All right? Now, what I'll do next, I'm going to do, um, let's say now you have bought the project, you have bought the token, now you have to, you want to log them on the, uh, 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 let's say for example, on the deep, uh, on the deep uh, blue bank, right? You want to, to, to log them there. How do you go about that? Now that you have buy this token right now, because if you buy this token, first thing that you qualify for immediately after buying is the 2%, 2.3 ROI daily you'll be getting that percentage now if you want to also now you want to say i want to actually invest into um uh, 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 the what the the, the the deep blue bank i want to log away a token how do i go about that now for me to do that for for, for that one guys i will have to come back and be able to show you now for now let me just say this one was to show you guys how to buy the token now for the token to to reflect here to reflect here on your screen you simply come here you simply come here right and then once you come here guys you simply come here and then you scroll all the way down here right and then from there you change here to smart chain and then here you have to paste the contract address if i paste the contract address there you can see it will be able to give me the whole name of the token and then once i click done there it is going to be reflect it is going to reflect it's going to reflect here here you see it's going to reflect here so amazing 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 stuff amazing stuff so otherwise guys until i see you on the next time don't forget to leave that uh comment down there and let me know what you think about the video and don't forget to hit the like button i'll see you now on the next one or on the next video bye for now